Alrighty, I am about to do some self care, which I honestly don't do often. <laughs> Um, I started getting getting into it this year, but then um, I fell off. I just finished drinking some green juice that I made. I only had, well, I had oranges, lemon, no, oranges, lime, spinach, and cucumber. And I had to add coconut water because it was very bitter. So I made that. Then I just made this... Um, paste. This is from um, the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. World's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. So my period is done and I'm about to apply this to my face. I'm going to do my regular routine. I also need to wipe off my this I bought these makeup cleaner wipes from um from oh let me show you I brought them from Marshalls First one I'm using is the CeraVe Facial Cleanser. I'm about to hop in the shower. Tomorrow is our church's candlelight service, and I am on the prayer team tomorrow, and then I go to work after. Okay, so this stuff is dry, and my face is hard, very hard. Today is Christmas Eve. I am headed to church and um, I am arriving a little bit late. I was, man, so many things was going on this morning. But um, I made sure to put my Lord first. And I honestly need to take these next few days that I'm going to be working. Um, so at my job, like I have a lot of free time. Like I don't really like have to do any like specific like administrative work. So it really is a time for me to kind of create and um, which I enjoy. Like I love emails. I love videos. I love, um, you know, short form videos. I love planning for my family. Um, like a lot of that time too goes to my husband and I talking about like our plans for our family. And I need to remember that <laughs> because sometimes I'll be like, we don't, we don't plan, we don't figure things out together. But in those times, like I need to be writing stuff down. But um, I started this video um, because I was thinking about how like a lot of, well, I can't really say a lot, but um, I was thinking about how God is done with his people living in survival mode and he really is calling us to get uncomfortable and in that um we are getting un uncomfortable um yeah I, I i see how god wants us to be uncomfortable in like the best way possible I think living on survival mode is like, it, it really hinders us from really answering the call that God has on our life. 
and uh god just is so um praise god for sam because he has he cleaned out the car both cars um but um he's like i feel like god is like telling me and other people like we're not living in survival mode anymore um because god has called us to thrive and to live well and uh, to live abundantly and um you know i think it's just time for us to like live up to that call uh i don't know i just feel that i sense that in my spirit so well and what does it mean though to like no longer just survive or live that way. It means that we, um, like one thing I think about is going after the prophetic word. So if the Lord said that, you know, you're going to be prospering in a certain area, do the work to prosper in that area. Don't be lazy, right? Um, don't expect somebody to just hand you something because that's just not life, right? Um, Thriving is doing the, for me, for example, is doing the skincare and being serious about it and making the time for myself, getting quiet with myself um, because I realize like the fruit of my life has come from my, my quiet time with God. If I don't do that, then I'm useless. I'm so, so useless without, like God wants the first of everything. And he wants the first of our time. He wants the first of our money. He wants the first of our mindset. Like he wants the first of um, our food. Like he wants us to pray for our food. Like those principles of who God is has yet to, to change. And so I was just, I don't know. I just feel that on me, but um skincare like making that a priority doing the mask that i showed in the last clip and uh you know letting that stuff dry and all that stuff like god really wants me to take care of the body he's given me and he wants me to really love it and um i was telling sam this morning that, again like i think that you know once i cut my hair in august that like i was so happy like so happy to have cut my hair see my face see my beauty but then this morning i was like able to look at my body and i was like man i really love my body like and i just remember somebody that i was watching on netflix a while back yeah like a year ago she was like i just don't want to put those things in my body and i felt that like her saying that like recently and so it's just like thriving, like finding the fruits, vegetables, and the protein that's really going to help aid my body in the right areas. Um, what else? <clears throat> um, working out. I've been wanting to, like I go to the gym regularly, but we live far from the gym, but we love our gym so much. I want to purchase a stair stepper for the days that I don't go to the gym. I really want to start working out six times a week versus like focusing on three and four and not persistently coming through. And I think what changed was because like I started fasting. And so whenever I fast, there's just no way that I can work out. So um, I hope that this is helping you because I know it's helping me like work through these things. Um, but yeah, fasting uh, also too is just so important. Like it's so vital. Um, God just really does want us to have a life. Like last night I was talking to my friend about, you know, uh, John, one of, the, one of the chapters in John talks about God being, Jesus being our daily bread. And I was like, man, like, you know, sometimes I feel like God can get so specific with me. I could be like, man, six months i want to drop some weight i want to do xyz right but then in that six months he might tell me to do something right like he may tell me to um i guess everybody went to church yesterday because it is 
dead. Like usually, well, it's not dead, but oh, and then my light isn't on. I like to just park up over here and just walk down. But um, I'll come back probably when I get to work today. Yeah, I like this parking spot. Oh, there's plenty over there. See what I'm saying? Like it's, it is not busy. It is gonna be a whole new year in 20, it's gonna be a whole new year in two hours. We're sitting outside. Sam just started a fire. Um, angle's not gonna be the best, but that's okay. Y'all, I just went through my camera and used image capture to, um, what's the word? To remove photos from my phone and it deleted everything. So all of like in it like it didn't transfer everything to my computer, my USB stuff. Oh, I need to get closer. You're right. That's the whole point. Oh, but it's blowing this way. Will I get Well, any of my clothes burn up? Huh? Why are you over there? Cause it's not blowing over there. Can you take my chair over there? All of this to stay with all of my memory being lost. So we had good pictures from Christmas. We had pictures from. So all gone? Yeah. Oh. Like, I don't. I mean, I transferred it properly. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up and all that. But. Yeah, I'm gonna try to work on it tomorrow since ain't nobody gonna be doing nothing tomorrow. It's the first. But I'm gonna also be making me a roasted potato or tomato soup and some green juice tomorrow. And yeah, what? So thanks. Um, oh, I'm like, what's the camera over there picking me up? People have been doing fireworks. I'm not really caring for it right now. How am I driving around? Sam, chill. Just chill. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. That wind is bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you see that one at the corner of the door? Oh, it went out. It's like the little thingy magicus. Anyway, we're sitting out here next to the fire. You can see it in my glass. Oh my gosh, honey. It's just so windy. Like it would be perfect if it wasn't windy. Chantel said it's too cold for her where they are. But I thought it was gonna well it was it was it was actually perfect at around like eight o'clock. Yeah, it got the water broke a little bit. Yeah. Little one is 
in our boss, the big boss. He sleep. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow. The fuck the wind. Can the wind make it blow out? It can, right? Yeah. But it's, it looks like it's actually giving it fuel. Well, well we're just talking the ground bottom one. Yeah. <sighs> Made it outside for a walk. My goal is to do about 30 um, minutes and then head back home. I want to make a tomato soup and uh, eat that. And then I am gonna make a green juice as well. Um, and that's kind of what I plan on eating today. And then this morning I ended up going to, um, I went, no, this morning was a very slow morning, which was nice. I, uh, laid in bed until 8 which I usually stay in bed until 6 30 but I was like feeling like I should just give my body a break um and then on I think a little bit like an hour or two later we got up read our bibles together prayed together for the new year and prayed over our baby boy um and uh and then that, like, we just chilled, kind of got the bed together. He started laundry, my husband, Sam. And then the baby played around with my in-laws. So it's been a chill, peaceful morning. Uh, I felt like the Lord just really broke through um, just mental clarity for me. And I feel like the Lord just really gave me a lot of mental clarity. Um, I just have been struggling with my mindset, fears, and it was like it broke off this morning after we read, I think it was First Kings. And First Kings talks about um, David giving over um, his kingdom to Solomon and, um, and then I don't know, Adonai Adonijah, it maybe is his name pronunciation, but he was trying to make himself the king, which is Solomon's brother. And I didn't realize that Solomon had to kill his brother. Like we read it and it just, in the prayer closet and it had so much clarity in it. Um, and so I love that for, uh, for me. Um, and then like after that, I journaled for a while and listened to some soaking worship music and just really enjoyed God and he like downloaded things for me to send people for their new year so I went ahead and did that um, and then I just have like and then I'm grateful because I got to go on a walk and by myself so I'm like praise the Lord um, it's like 43 degrees out here, so it's super cold. And I don't have sunglasses, but I'm kind of, I'm warming up, honestly. I've been walking for, I've been walking for eight minutes. I finally feel warmed up and which is nice, but I've been walking like really fast. So that's nice too, cause I don't have my stroller to push. I just got my little, my body to push. Um, so yeah, that is January 1st, 2020. Oh, good morning. I am about to 
journal and listen to worship music. Today is day one of 2024. 